Inhumans, episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called, and finally, Black Bolt. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. This show is rated TVPG, so will this video be. And finally, we come to the longest eight days of my life. I'm so glad I'm finally done with this show. Let's dive right in. So yeah, I will say this thing of, you know, I don't think this was the very worst episode. The thing of, you know, the, the evacuation and how, like, they may not be able to stop the, you know, that was a, a decent escalation of the thing. Because, like, when you watch the very end of episode 7, you're like, oh, you know, they gotta somehow get Maximus to turn off the, you know, the, the thing, the, the uh, death, death man, dead man switch, you know, but now we find out. You know, he he actually did something he didn't fully understand how to control. They might not be able to stop it. Let's see. And, yeah, Karnak comes across some guards and immediately thinks about a three-way. I mean, three ways he could kill them, and then one guy shows up behind him. Okay, the, the number dramatically dropped. And Louise is like, are you moving in? Let's see. And I do appreciate, you know, in, in the in their time apart, Louise looked into how to what was it, how to negotiate if you're a woman. It's, you know, and pointed out it's it's not easy. And let's see. Yeah, and, and you know, she Louise is told. It is not safe for you to come, which <sighs> suddenly Medusa is a uh, MRA. And let's see. Um, uh, right, yeah, yeah. Gorgon attacks Dr. Declan. So we're seeing, you know, like they talked about, it. you know, a second pterogenesis can induce madness. So. You know, unfortunately, like last episode, they talk about, oh, you know, maybe they're just fairy tales, and you know, I personally have a difficult time respecting a belief that is, you know, that is never ever tested. Like, it's fine if the test you did was like a while back, as long as you can, you know, confidently, you know, as, as long as you're sure that the the methodology was was good enough. But apparently they haven't tried this for forever, and, you know, yeah, the show raises, you know, maybe it's just the fairy tales, but no, apparently not. It is slightly funny that in the previously on, you know, they were talking about second genesis, that could lead to madness, or death, and then we see, you know, the dead guy going through it, it's like, Gorgon might die a second time. Let's see... I, I, it is it is amusing to me that Max, like, he's not getting anywhere <clears throat> while he's being the, the captive of the royal family, but he still won't shut up. Like, he's still just constantly talking that, you know, at, at this point it seems less like, oh, you know, he, he is the voice of the people, and more just like, he's a voice you really want to put a sock in. And... Yeah, and you have you know you have the line. I'll be back. So, if I know my Terminator, I know that that means she's going to, you know, yeah, take a vehicle through the the front of the building. And yeah, Louise and the others try to con convince uh, uh, George. It looks like the character is named uh, based on. And to be cast list and faces, you know, call the boss. I don't know how Bruce Springsteen is gonna help in in this particular situation, but okay. And <laughs> I like Crystal. You know, yeah, Medusa's like Louise. You you know, I I trust you more. You know, you are my most trusted friend or something. And Crystal adds. She doesn't have a lot of friends. <laughs> and 
see, we have the... Um, yeah, you know, ultimately the... the um, um, the um, yeah, what's it called? The the um, what's it called? Uh, the the um, yeah, you know, she she does manage to to you know. Yeah, Louise gets her to take the rocket to the moon, even if she can't take her personally. And, you know, we get a, a, another brief Medusha moment where she's like, Louise, come on, let it go. Wow. Like, she wasn't even, like, rambling. Like, if they wanted to make that the thing, they should have let her go on for longer. Like, just have it start by, you know, Louise being like, you gotta do this and this, and, you know, and, and Medusa's like, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and like, after a few seconds, but no, she just immediately jumps to let it go, so, you know. When will we know? When we die. That's fantastic. Um, you are... You are being very useful right now, Karnak. Thank you. And let's see. Yeah, and Medusa tries to appeal to, to Max. And we get another Medusa moment. Look at what you've done to me. Because it's not about the people. It's about the royal family. Everything's about the royal family. Just, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, by the end of the episode, there's, you know, they talk about, oh, you know, we're going to do better, we're gonna, you know, but they still don't really acknowledge the things they've done wrong, like, this is, you know, in order to do something, in, in order to properly apologize for something, you have to acknowledge what you did wrong, you have to show that you understood it, otherwise it's just empty, it's easy enough to say, I'm sorry, but, you know, you, yeah, it's, it's, meaningless if you don't prove that you completely understood what it was you did wrong why it was wrong and you know ideally you maybe say what you're gonna do to make sure that you don't do it again and we see none of that here this is this is completely empty I mean they you know the the show pretty much bookends with you know what one of the first things we saw was also this like Let's see, was that to all the people, or was it just... Certainly there was some speech giving at the very start. I think there was... Yeah, yeah, because it was the it was the pterogenesis thing. There was also some speech giving there. And then we have it here at the end. Like, they're not different enough to show that, oh, you know, they're, they're, they've really grown. And let's see... Yeah, you know, there's, you know, now the, the, you know, they're, they're very similar. Almost human. Finally breathing. What is this feeling? Let's see. And, yeah. I believe it's, it's Karnak who said, you know, we are dangerously close to having a good episode. Can we crap it up a little bit? Also dangerously close to the show ending. And then Medusa rhymes the words throne and dome. Like, it's mm, ah, uh, t two out of five. You could do better. And let's see. Yeah, and the they give a, a speech to the people and Max, you know... I would say, you know, now they're making him very villainous. You know, he says, if I can't have Adelan, no one will. You know, which is also like this sort of defeatist kind of, you know, that's also what what Hitler said, you know, not long before he, he died. He was okay with sacrificing the German people because he himself had, had failed. And and it is a decent moment when you know he Max says, Adelan is mine," 
and Auron says it's ours, and he doesn't really, you know, he he doesn't even like stop and say, oh, I, I meant ours, I mis misspoke. And yeah, Eldrak is taking everyone to Earth, clearly in pain. Like, I realize it's TV PG, so they probably couldn't really like let it sink in. By the way, Moses Goods, fantastic performance as Eldrak. Like, he doesn't get to use a lot other than his voice. Like, the face is mostly CG. They they might have like put the dots on his face. You know, but other than that, he he imbues the character with a lot of, um, yeah. There's there's something going on there as much as the writing allows him. Really, really good performance by him. But yeah, you know, the in one of the first episodes we see that oh, you know, it actually hurts a lot for one person to go through. Like early on, it was just like Auron, and now fourteen hundred. And, and it just kind of bypasses. Like, we hear him groan, and that's basically it. Just, yeah. It, it's just, if you're if you're going to set up that it's, you know, yeah. If you're going to set up that it's painful for him to, with just one, but then you just have it end with, oh, he can now teleport. You know, I, I guess it's not literally 1,400 total. It was, you know, some of them were guards, and they were killed. Triton continues to kick ass, but still, that's that's a lot. And let's see, yeah, Karnak suggests maybe Gorgon wants to stay and and end it rather than go on the way he he is. So that's a you know pro euthanasia kind of thing, which. Yeah, I do think people who truly do not want to go on, we should do a lot to... Like, obviously, you know, there are certain things that are temporary, and you don't want someone to... to yeah, but I, I think we need to do more to empower people to choose. And... Yeah, honestly, at, at first I thought that Black Bolt was just straight going to stay on the on Adlan, in Adlan, but you know it's just to to deal with Max. He does end up going back to Earth, and then we learn something that I, I realize I didn't call this out when I talked about that episode, but in an earlier episode, you know Max had this. Yeah, I, I talked about uh, the nightmare he had, but. The the um, in that nightmare, you know, there was that thing about we we know now that you're why Black Bolt killed his parents. It's, it's something along those lines, not an exact quote. And and yeah, here we find out what that means. But it's like you know, he he set circumstances into play, sure, but like. It, it wasn't really, yeah, I, I, I don't really think that this is a um, clear, yeah. Like, I, I kind of feel like the moment that they wrote that Black Bolt actually did kill his parents, they, you know, they kind of can't, there's not really anything you can do or say like I guess mind control if he was being mind controlled into doing it or something you know but just oh you know Max lied you know made it look like the just yeah and the the yeah I think that's all I have about the but but yeah and then it, you know, the last thing with Max is that Black Bolt locks him inside the the bunker where, you know, if he so chooses, he can, you know, there's, there's food and water, if I understand correctly, so he can go on living in there, you know, until he eventually dies, you know, I... 
I don't know if it's going to be, if there's enough oxygen, you know, may, yeah, maybe he'll, maybe he'll suffocate, maybe he'll die when the, the water runs out, you know. Yeah, um, I think we're supposed to think, ah, oh, you know, good, he deserves that. And, and I do appreciate the irony of, you know, he, Ronasha said, you will, no one will question your place as king. And here at the end, yeah, there was no one in the bunker who questioned his, you know, he is king of the bunker. Congratulations. That would hit so much harder if there wasn't a king at all, but Black Bolt is still the king. It's just, you know, we're supposed to be like, ah, oh, I sure am glad it's the eugenicist who's king and not the guy who wanted to get rid of the eugenicist system. Just, wow. Because, like, let's say that they had a an, an elected leader, like a president or prime minister, and then Max said, no, there, we should have a king, and it ends with him declaring himself king of the bunker, that would really hit hard, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't... I don't really think that the... That it had the, the effect that they intended for it to. And according to IMDb Trivia, the title of this episode is a reference to the title of the Inhumans related story included in the comic, comic book issue 448. And I am very relieved to be done with this show. I don't see myself ever rewatching this thing. Um, yeah, just wow. It was as bad as I had heard. Just, yeah. Um, I think that is all that. Um, the, the, um, hmm. Right, right, yes. I, I read that, you know, originally, you know, when it was supposed to be a movie, you know, it was supposed to be the, the, hundred fifty million dollar budget thing you know it was supposed to be like this big cosmic adventure and you know yeah the show is is very much not that and yeah just the the it they, they really didn't come up with a good way to I don't think it was impossible to salvage I think after the first, you know, or, yeah, after seasons two through four of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I think you could tell an amazing story about Inhumans in the MCU. And, the, you know, this, this was handled by Scott Buck. He was the, the show creator and, I want to say, a uh, show runner. Wow, there's so many titles. That's just... Real quick, see, he's show creator and, um, hmm, it actually does not say on IMDb. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, he also brought about the first season of Iron Fist. Thankfully not the second season, which might be why that is a substantial improvement. Um... Yeah, just, I, is he still doing anything? Because he doesn't, oh, that's right. Yeah, he actually, yeah, he worked on Dexter. There he did a really good job. Let's see, he, oh, this actually, yeah, this is the, the last, let's see, yeah, um, Inhuman, Iron Fist, and then Inhumans are the last two that he has done. He hasn't done any since. Oh, and he was also responsible for the show Nikki, the the Nikki Cox. Yeah, which I don't I don't have any problem with that show. Uh, I I remember you know I I watched her and Nikki Cox on a bunch of things in the early 2000s, you know, she's got presence. I, I don't know if I would necessarily say, 
I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure the stuff I saw her in was a great showcase for talent. Um, but she's got, you know, she, she had presence. She, you know, I, I understand giving her her own show. She, you know, there's a lot of of TV actors that I wouldn't necessarily say, ah, could, could they really handle their own show? But, yeah, I 100%. I, I don't think I've ever watched any of Nikki. I just, I, I am aware that it, it was a thing that existed. But, but yeah, um, I, I don't think Scott Buck was up to, to salvaging. You know, once this was nixed as a movie and they decided it was going to be a show, I definitely think eight episodes was way too. It, it's a at least twice as much as what they had good material for. You know, like it's it's kind of the same thing over and over. It's just it's it's royal family. You know, yeah, being around human beings, relating to them, and then you know it cuts back to to Max and the people working for Max trying to catch them and and take them out and that's it there's not a lot of like growth you know if you compare it to to yeah everything else i've seen of marvel tv you know so yeah everything up to and including this and also the disney plus mcu shows you know all of them more stuff happens it's not just the same like even like the even my least favorite of the the yeah of these i would say you know there's still other than this there's something going on you know there's yeah and and you know like eight episodes you know the the agent carter also had episodes I forget if it's eight, maybe it's more like ten, but the, the, let's see, yeah, in total there's 18 episodes, uh, yeah, episode, season one of Agent Carter is also eight episodes, and stuff happens, you know, it sets up some stuff at the very start, and then they're exploring that over the course of the entire eight episode run, but, there's no, you know, that that show did so much better. I'm not surprised that this only got one season. I am pretty relieved that it did. Honestly, you know what, tell you what. If they could have, you know, gotten rid of, you know, in, instead of Scott Buck, get the guy who was, like, in charge of that show for the second season. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Uh, who ran season two? Oh, I'm fixed. Raven Metzner. Um, yeah. You know, honestly, if you brought Inhumans back for a second season, Raven Metzner, considering what Raven did with season two of Iron Fist, I still don't think that the show could have been saved. I re th this was just honestly, I think after the after the first episode, they had pretty much locked in themselves, and th this is like this is like Star Trek Enterprise. There's just no way you can salvage this once you have that pilot. Once you're sticking with that, just these characters, these kinds of, like, priorities, these characterizations, this, this take on a world that we, the viewer, like elsewhere, now just cannot be done.